Hey everybody, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. Thank you very much for coming back to check out another video. I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different visual perspective tonight. Just mixing things up, keeping you on your toes, trying to keep things fresh and exciting. Now, uh, tonight I am going to continue though along the lines of the tip videos that I've been doing recently. And this is a tip video that I'm going to do with you with regards to organization. Organization is critical for your reselling business if you're serious about it and you're going to be successful. When you're just starting out and you have a few items up, those items are probably going to be real easy to find. But once you start to accumulate items and you start to go out and start sourcing more and your business starts to take off and you become more successful, you're going to start acquiring a lot of inventory and things are going to pile up real fast. And if you don't have a way to organize it, then what's going to happen is it's going to take you up to an hour or more sometimes to find items. And during that time, you know, that you're doing that, it, it's really just a waste of time. You could have been listing other items in your, your eBay store, your Poshmark store, or you could have been preparing a box for shipping for Amazon FBA, whatever the case may be, you know, you could have been outsourcing or something like that rather than just, you know, searching around aimlessly for inventory. Let me give an example of, you know, something I just put together here to kind of simulate sometimes what I see uh, when people post pictures of what their inventory area looks like, and it looks sometimes something like this here. Now, this is not what my area normally looks like, but I just kind of put this together to kind of simulate some of the things that I see in which everything's just kind of randomly just spread all over the place. You know, you got a bunch of DVDs here. You know, maybe you're selling a fire stick, so you got that in some kind of random shoe box that's mixed with a, uh, you know, a Trivia Pursuit game or some books. You know, or then you got like a handkerchief over here and you've got some more books and you've got a magazine here. Uh, and, you know, it's just kind of hard to find things in situations like this. And you could see things start, you know, hanging off the edges. They could slip off. They could get damaged. So now you have damaged product. Um, or maybe you have something that looks more like this where you have like a desk and stuff just piled on top of one another in these kind of random hodgepodge layers. You're kind of worried if you pull something out, maybe it's like a you know game of Jenga. You know, you're kind of nervous that the whole thing is going to collapse and fall down. And, you know, you could see like this is kind of sliding down, looks almost like a mudslide. So, uh, you know, that's not what you want. If your system looks like this right now and you're watching this video, you have got to stop and you have got to get yourself organized and change this. It's easy to do. All you have to do is invest a little bit of time and a little bit of money. And the way you do that is by purchasing storage shelves. Now, um, storage shelves, you know, they're different in terms of pricing, but what I would suggest is purchasing a metal storage shelf. And I have multiple metal storage unit shelving uh, uh, situations uh, set up throughout Primetime Treasure headquarters. I'm going to bring you over to one of them right now. So let's just take a look and give you an example of the kind of thing that I do to, uh, uh, you know, manage my setup. Now, this is an area of Primetime Treasure headquarters that's not seen too often. So uh, this is kind of an exclusive for you. Don't tell anyone else about it. It's just between me and you. So uh, right here is what I'm talking about. This is a five uh, level storage unit and as you can see it is metal and uh, this wound up costing around $67 so with tax it comes to about $70 uh, you know somewhere in the low 70s I purchased it at Home Depot but uh, they also sell them at Lowe's uh, keep in mind that uh, you know if you're worried a little bit about the expense of investing $70 that if you're set up as an LLC for your business that this is tax deductible as a business expense it's considered a supply for storage in addition this whole area right here is now going to be tax deductible in terms of if you have this in your home this is space that you now have dedicated to storing for your business so this is now business space if you have a whole room where you are uh, dedicated to storing things and have multiple units like this, like I do in the room that I just walked out of, um, that whole room could be something that's tax deductible as long as you're only using it for business purposes and not using it for other things. Um, so I would suggest getting the metal shelving uh, system because if you wind up going and getting pressed wood, what's gonna happen is that pressed wood eventually is going to start wilting 
and it's going to start falling apart at the seams. And when that happens, you're going to wish you invested the extra $20 to purchase something like this or the extra $30. Um, because again, that's just going to start falling apart. It's not going to be able to hold the types of items that you want it to hold, particularly if you buy a lot of books or magazines or just heavier types of product. Um, you definitely want it to have the, the metal storage system. Now, um, yes, it is metal on the outside and it does have um, some wood here in terms of storage, but this is a solid, uh, strong wood that they use to hold it. And um, you could, in fact, get any type of um, strong wood that you want to kind of put in here. These just kind of pop up like this and uh, you could get anything you want to fit in there. Um, but the wood that they supply is already strong enough and it's much better than the you know cheap thin uh, pressed wood layers that they're going to give you from the uh, pressed wood sets but anyway you have the freedom and the flexibility to organize this however you want to you what you could do is you could set it up so that you have certain areas of it that contain items that you have listed on eBay and so then all you have to do is you have to just go to it and just grab it when it sells and pull it right out and I would suggest organizing that, those uh, areas by whatever the specific uh, content area it is that you're selling or type of item so for example if you look right here you see that I have a bunch of clothes and this little section right here these are all the long sleeve kind of wintry type of clothes or kind of sleeper uh, pants types item. Like here's the Batgirl uh, pants or superhero pants that I, these are sleep pants that I showed in the video last night. But then also what you're gonna see here are little jackets or um, you know long sleeve shirts, that sort of thing, sweaters. Um, and then right next to it, here's all my short sleeve shirts. Now again, these are all items that I currently have listed on eBay. So when something sells, like if my blue Smurf shirt sells, you know, I just see it right here, there's the royal blue color, I could just pull that out. But as you can see here, these are all, you know, if my Rob Zombie shirt sells and that's a black one, well, this is the only black shirt I have, I could find it real easily, I just go right over to it, I pull it out, and I also have my system set up. So right next to my shirts, right over here, I have my, this is where I typically send my shirts out in. I've got these stacked up right to the side. So then I just fold this up, put it right in the bag. It's got a self, some self-adhesive strips. I put it right on there, out the door. So very, very efficient setup. You know, I'm not wasting a lot of time getting the shirt, then looking for, you know, walking into another room really far away to find the, to find the shipping envelope. So keep everything organized. You know, it wouldn't make sense, for example, to have this mixed up with um, shirts that you have not listed yet. Keep those separate, keep those in a separate area. So the shirts that I have not listed, I have those set up in tubbies. So once uh, I need to, once, once I get those things and I list them, then they move over to this area. So they kind of move through different stages of processing and um, that's just a way you can keep it organized in your mind. So you, you kind of know it must be here in this specific area because this is the only place that you keep your shirts or your clothes that you already have listed up. Now, you could um, break it up into different areas on the same, sh on the same um, level or you could set um, you know, one level that's just clothes and you could have another level that's just toys and another level that's just books, however you wanna do it. It's just how your mind works, how your brain works in terms of um, the uh, way that you process information. So, so it's whatever works for you. But you know, down here, I'll just kinda of show you what I have over here. Um, I have um, a setup where uh, right up top here, you can see these are all my uh, Funko Pops that I sell. So, and not only do I have them all set up that they're all Funko Pops, but I also have them pretty well organized into the different areas. So you can see here, here's my Star Wars toys right here. Now this one just kind of, this is a Star Wars Funko Pop. This one should really just be over here. So just kind of move that there. But uh, in general, they're pretty organized and um, they just go back into multiple layers like this you can just see it goes all the way back there here i have some bigger toys i showed this the other day in my toy haul video so i have a giant uh, elvis toy uh right here and some of the big frazetta type of toys i have down there uh over here you could see i have all these dragonlance books that i purchased at a 
um, library book sale last year. These are all hard covers, and they just go back and back and back, multiple rows. I'm just gonna put a flashlight on here so you could see a little bit better. But uh, this whole entire column is Dragonlance books, and you can see if we go back there, there's more of them, and then back further, there's even more of them. So it just goes back and back and back. Uh, I bought these, again, at a library uh, bag sale. And so I was able to just, I couldn't believe my eyes. I just kept stacking up, stacking up all these bags with Dragonlance books. And I just uh, just need to list them, that's all. Um, you can see here, here's some Ghost Rider toys from my haul video the other day. And uh, if I bring you over here, you can see that it just goes back and then I have more of them there. And you know, I do have kind of a couple random things here, like here's a Holly Hobby plate and here's a pair of shoes. Now the reason for that, why do you just see a random pair of shoes right here like this, is because I had another pair of shoes right on top of this and it literally just sold uh, yesterday. So this was like a shoe area. So you know, these, these areas, they just kind of um, morph over time. And so you just kind of rearrange things. You could see here's a bunch of manga books that I have stacked up and they go three levels deep. So you could store a ton of stuff as you could see. Um, you know in these units so um, you know this is just the way to do it you just uh, you just keep everything just organized like this and it's just much much easier to find things and um, much easier to just kind of keep yourself organized um, with the clothes I would suggest folding them and putting them into little stacks like this because if you take them and instead of doing this you just kind of randomly throw them all over the place on your shelving unit. Uh, the problem with that is it's going to be an inefficient use of space. So literally, what if, if you could take this stuff right here and if you just threw it all around, it literally doing that would take up almost this entire shelf and almost this entire shelf. So you do need to make sure that even though you have this storage system set up, that everything is nice and condensed. Um, now, what do I have here? These are just two boxes of um, books that I need to go through and I need to process. They're comic related books, pop culture books, Star Wars books, that sort of thing. So I just know that they're there. I have them organized in the, in the, um, uh, in the boxes and I just know I need to go through them and I just need to kind of process them. But this is another example of why you have to have a strong unit because these are heavy items in here and if this was pressed wood, this is just gonna fall down and eventually it's gonna break and it's gonna collapse. Now up top, I have kind of a random assortment of things. I have some comic books up there. I have some um, uh, stack of Pokemon tins and I have a bunch of you know, right here, this whole stack that you see here, these are all um, military medals and military memorabilia. So that's just like kind of a whole row. Like I know what's there. Or, you know, over here, I happen to have a whole bag of plush Super Marios that I need to get up. You know, from the Super Mario series, got Yoshi and Luigi and all those kind of toys. So, so they're all there. Or, you know, if we go right over here, this is all... Um, you know, Star Wars and uh, Starlog uh, uh, magazines. So everything's just kind of set up in that way. Up here, I've got a lot of my posters that I have for sale. So they're just kind of all listed in this area. So, um, you know, you just kind of have to have your own, you know, visual of how it is you want to set it up. But again, this is much better of a setup than having the other situation that I described earlier. So go out get yourself a shelving unit, put it together. It takes about, if it's the first time you're doing it, probably take about a half an hour or less. I'm not great with visual spatial stuff and constructional stuff, but if I could figure out how to put four or five of these shelving units together, you certainly can. So I recommend that you definitely go out doing it. If you do that based on watching this video, come back, let me know how that system is working for you. I'd love to know that this is something that wound up helping you out and help get you out of an unorganized situation. Um, make sure you hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this video if you want to get notifications for more and plus just to let me know that you are enjoying the content that you are seeing. 
Uh, we're up to 149 subscribers. Just need one more. Which one of you is going to be the one that pops me into 150? I want to thank our newest subscriber, Emma LaPlante. I want to thank Adisak Vovo. I want to thank Connie from My Flippin', My One Flippin' Life. I want to thank uh, Shemzo08. I want to thank Cullen. All these are new subscribers that come in. I hope you stay here and keep watching the content. Keep watching the videos. And I also want to thank, give a shout out to um, one of my favorite subscribers, uh, Angel Angelia Zane, who has um, you know been commenting recently on some of the videos, and is a member of the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. So we inter interact a lot there. That's my Facebook group. So if you'd like to join that please make sure you just go into the description section and click on the Facebook link to the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. Uh, submit a uh, join request and I will let you right into the group if everything looks okay with your profile. With that, I've got some other items that I've got to list. Sorry for the air conditioning noise in the background, but it is getting warm around and we've got to keep cool. So I will see you back in the next video, everyone. Hope you like this one. Take care.